Hey guys, this is a generic person and today I'm doing something a bit different. So we're gonna be unboxing Oh Scotty has arrived. So we're gonna be unboxing um maybe not quite an Epiphone guitar. I hope I'm pronouncing the brand name right. Um so this is one I decided to get, and see how does the camera. Yeah, I gotta get them off first. So, this is a $500, dollars $549 guitar, and as you see here, I'm gonna just oh. <laughs> Um, yeah, there may be some difficulties of getting the unboxing done. Okay, so, we got this guitar cable, we got our amp, right there, that's my acoustic guitar. Got a little strap here. This, I bought this all separately, please know, and, yeah, let's see if we can get more, yeah, you can see the color, and, yeah, okay. Because it's like black on one side and it's gray on the other. Okay, so. Let's just go ahead. Unless, well, as soon as you get off. You gotta get off because I gotta open this. Well, cats do love cardboard boxes. Probably the majority of them. Just like playing around in them. This one likes to, and well, Scotty just likes to um, just lay down on. And okay, so yeah. So let me try to get him off first. Okay, so I was easily able to buy him with treats. Okay, that said, he's probably gonna get mad at me for opening this box. All right. So, so we're gonna open this up. Right. This is not a good idea now. Oh, no. Okay. Oops. That's my fault. Okay. Nice camera work I have, apparently. Yeah, let's put it nice in quotes. So. Let's see. Let me try to. Oh, uh, Jesus. That was not a good idea. Let's just do it. Uh, yes, I'm okay. Ow! <laughs> yeah, I need... I'm far from being able to open this box. Yeah. Let me... I'll figure out some adventure. Let me just pause the video. I'll, I'll figure out something. Alright, so I got one part open. So, back in again somewhere. Just do it for the rest of here. Yeah, so my technique that that worked. Right. Yeah, this is a whisk since I'm using scissors. I'll get this open and yeah, okay. Can I just make up my mind? No, I don't think so. Yeah, I'm just probably gonna do this on camera. Cause what? What's the point of, I guess, doing an unbox? Oh, you just saw me get something done. Yeah, that's probably not the best way, but it's something. Oh, <laughs> that was easy. No scissors needed. Or oh, was it even easy?
Okay, and uh, that's uh, some stuff, some information you do not, you cannot see. Okay, let me just turn this real quick. I'll clean up my mess a bit later. Again, Scott is probably just like, what the heck are you doing? Um, okay, so in this box we got a box. What's in here? Oh, oh boy. So yeah, this type of guitar I got. It's the last call one from Metaphone. 549. So, yeah, it's the best I can do. Like, good. Work. So you get free cardboard if you ever need to use that. What else is in here? Oh, I think that's the actual guitar itself. You got some bubble wrap that you can pop. I'm not gonna pop that right now. Oh, use the guitar itself. So. It's very minimalistic on what you get included. Oh, and yes, this is from the person. I should have also mentioned that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this is just the very first unboxing I did, so. Yes, I probably said this. Oh, okay. We're in a situation where things are so oh, boy. I had a little interruption, so sorry about that. So, I'm continuing this video, and this is what all you get. Metaphone guitar. How does Scotty think of it? Oh. And then much. He's just like, what the heck? So, let me figure this out. I can probably open it from the front. Oh boy. Probably below the amateur level while it comes when it comes to unboxing. <laughs> yeah. Oh, time to get the well. Let me. Oh, it's taped. Let me fix that up. Yeah, I'm probably. You guys are probably cringing at the screen right now. It's like, no, that's not how you do it. Or something like that. I don't know. You probably uh, is like yo. It's so obvious. How are you having a difficult time? Please just teach me. <laughs> Done. In one second. And yes, there's a forgotten here and there. The ends. Let's see if I can get those out. Oops. a little cat there, my little, well, not little, he's 12 pounds, uh, it's my cat, you probably know him by now, if not, you can go check out the previous two videos, yeah, let me, let me try, Big staples, like it's like a big version of a staple. Okay. Yeah, I'm having some difficulties, but I've been able to manage just this just fine. See if I can get it out. Like this. You guys are probably just like cringing at the screen. It's like, yo, it's so obvious, no? Something like that. But that's okay. Because just tell me what to do next time. Then, then I'll eventually probably take your suggestion for weeks. Dang it. 
Okay, it's the moment y'all been waiting for. The actual second unboxing. So this is like a part two. Ta-da! <laughs> nah, I'm kidding. Ta-da! Yay. Let's actually take this out. Oh, That's funny. Let's, um, like this. No, I'm not going to do a sound test. I'll probably do that later on. Yes, it is hard to hold my phone, which is what I'm using this old cord with, and cord at the same time. I don't know if this is in tune, nor do I care right now, because I am not playing it, because this is still in the morning time. Like 8, maybe 9 Pacific time in LA. Besides, I still got more unwrapping to do. Yes, it is hard to get this thing off. I can't. I'm not going to use scissors because. Okay, maybe I am going to use scissors. I don't know if you saw that, but I don't think you did. Um. And here's. Dang it, I'm too tall. Yes, if you're wondering what that was, it was just some, some in my room, so. Dang it, I gotta be more careful, so you could see. There you go. This is like a one-man show. Wait, it's what I call the little eye here is covered. Not anymore. So, I will later on be doing a sound test. I am not going to do it right now because I do not want to. Yeah, it's too early. So, that was the unboxing. I'll do like a sound test later on. This is bought new. So, got a little knobs here. I'm not exactly like a pro. guitar but I'm probably doing good moment of lifetime warranty for complete details oh like it's a limited like they're offering a limited well, uh, lifetime warranty I guess <laughs> so yeah it's an Epiphone 549 guitar it's wine red with a little outline oh uh, I do like the appearance. I do like the shape of Les Pauls. There's always, it's always great. Always has been. Yeah, I could hear this is not in tune. I'm not gonna. Uh, I don't think I'll tune it right now, but. Yeah, so the front, you can see, oh, jeez, the lighting. Yeah. Oh, come on. So you can see the top. Sorry for the bad camera quality. Try not to cover that poster. I'm not taking any chances. I've said that before. Well, this is the first time I've said it. Okay, so you get the idea. I guess just like sitting there. So I'll do a sound test later on. So yeah, I'll be back. Just a little update. Scotty's getting in the box. He's wondering, yo, what's this? Oh, <laughs> hey Scotty. Oh, he's no. no. cardboard and he's in the box okay I'll do a sound test later on
Okay, so it's the final moment. Oop. Ta-da! Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and review this. I'm gonna listen to it and see what it sounds like. Okay, so... I reviewed both this and this. Well, for the most part, they're pretty great. Even though I'm not, like, you know, really, I'm not, like, a professional or whatever. I'm just a beginner, you know. And pretty much... So, yeah, so, yeah, it works great. I do hear a little bit of, like, a static noise, you could say. Something like that. And the guitar, yeah, it's, but it looks pretty cool. Just need a case, and that's all to finish it. I already got a guitar strap, which is right here. I think it's, like, yeah. So, anyways, um, so both pretty work, both worked out well. And the uh, and the static from the s the amp, it could have been this cable. Jesus, so out of focus. Oh, now it's better. Okay, so the they worked both both worked out pretty cool. And. Yeah, so both work great in my experience. Despite the static, uh, like the static noise I kept hearing on some settings on the amp, probably I don't know based on how it was set. It worked out. It was a great experience. Again, I'm not a professional, so this is how I view it as. I do know I play a guitar. And that's why I got it. But again, I'm not a professional, so professionals could. Do would know better but overall seems like it's a nice little nice little well nice guitar nice little guitar and so so anyways and before I conclude this video let's have a little bit of a look at this guitar so so as you can see here the body it's wine red according to um, I think it was the email my mom got. Oh well. So this is why I'm red. It's a bit of a supposed to like yell. I guess you could say well. On the camera it looks white. Well, well for the pick guard. And I do like the fretboard. Nice little like wood picture thing. Wood like appearance with. Like the square friend indicators, and I like how that's here. My source, <laughs> and I like the knobs, it great color scheme. Except that, well, knobs to me kind of well, it kind of doesn't seem to like fit the color scheme that much. Then again, actually, once you think about it, it kind of looks like it does. So, so have basically a red and white color scheme. Except that I think it's mainly designed so it's like vintage or old looking. But that doesn't really matter. So right here, looks a bit, I think it looks a bit white on what you guys see. Here though, here, it looks like it's like, um, okay, that's better. Yeah, so it's like a little beige coloring. Well, I thought it would be white based on the picture of what I saw. But that's probably on purpose because for effect and well for design, you know. And so that's the outlining.
and I do like on how it's like glossy despite the but despite I don't know if you can see it Okay, so I'm back now. Unfortunately, the other video stopped recording because I had no space left on my phone. That has been since taken care of, so... Taken care of. So, anyways... So, right where I left off, I was describing about the gloss... Um, how I like the glossy look. Problem is, you could kind of see the fingerprints, which sucks. But what do you expect? It's, if you're gonna get some glossy, you're gonna see fingerprints. And I do like this. To me, it looks like beige. But. Oh, I didn't even get the plastic off. Doesn't seem like it. Oh well. So. So, it, I, I actually do like the beige looking outline. That's not too bad. On the back, it really doesn't matter really standard so I do like the fretboard the head does that's great it's a simple so yeah it's a simple guitar not much special and I'm trying to figure out how you get this plastic off because there was plastic on here that I did not remove oh Now the unboxing is complete. <laughs> okay, so yeah, so this guitar is nice. Oh, uh, it looks nice. It, com it completes my needs. It just it's a it's probably just simple, basic one. Not too bad. Again, I got it for five hundred forty-nine dollars. So that probably gives you a clue of the quality there. Yeah. However, this is new, so that gives you a bit of a clue of, about the quality. So, yeah. So, sorry for the few interruptions. This is, like, probably the first long video I did. So, that's all it for today's video. Well, that's it for the video for today. And, yeah, so... Hopefully you found this video useful. Again, I'm not a professional musician or anything. I'm not. I'm probably not anywhere near close to the professional level. I'm still learning. So. Yeah. And as for the amp, it has great sound effects. Again, a little static noise. And. Other than that, it's just. Nice little amp. You can plug in your headphones. What else? So you can plug in your headphones into it. Just try not to blow them out. I guess you got some um, some type of pedal port thing. FPV pedal. You can even connect it to your PC. And that's, I think, used to be type 2? No, not type 2. What, what am I saying? Used to be type B, I think. And that's like to select. <laughs> um, right here. Between your iPhone or iPod. Or your Mac, PC, or Android. I guess, apparently, the... Ah, uh, um, because, well, I guess it's like a USB micro, USB, um, micro USB, um, connector to USB type B, if I'm getting that correct. AOXN, I guess for like an MP3 player, maybe. This thing is not focusing. Oh, because I'm too close. Yeah, it's just a generic amp, <laughs> so that's all it really. So hopefully you found this video a bit helpful, and well, this is a generic person, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.